If you're watching this, you're probably aware that Roborock have just launched a few new robots at CES 2024 here in Las Vegas. The most interesting is the S8 Max-V Ultra, the new flagship, but I'll also touch quickly on the new Q-Ravo models as well. The new S8 Max-V now claims an impressive 10,000 pascals of suction. That is honestly mind-blowing compared with suction ratings from even 2022, however whether that makes a huge difference will remain to be seen once it's tested. I've found a lot of modern robots claim huge suction numbers but don't deliver the results you'd expect. I do expect the S8 Max-V to be good, it's just unlikely to be as proportionately better as it sounds compared to the 6000 of the S8 Pro. The Max-V in the name means that it has a full colour camera which can be remotely viewed through the Roborock app. This should also have object avoidance improvements over the S7 Max-V Ultra, however they are also likely to be incremental refinements as, from what I can tell, it is a newer version of similar technology. Like some other newly released robots, the Max-V is also focused on edge cleaning but with a couple of features that are different to anything else I've seen so far. Because the Max-V uses a vibrarized mopping pad, it can't extend outwards like it does on the Q-Revo Max-V, instead they've put a mini rotational pad to get to the edges. This screws on or off, just like the side brushes. And speaking of the side brushes, this also extends out of the body when it is in the corner. Side brushes generally don't do much on carpet compared with hard floor, but the most useful scenario for this is definitely in the kitchen anyway. Roborock have also increased the mop lifting height so that it tucks up 20mm when it goes onto carpet. Other vibrarized robots typically only lift 7mm which may still lightly scrape the carpet but I haven't really found it to wet the carpet or cause any issues as there is no downwards pressure on it. The Ultra Empty Wash Fill Base is very similar to the S8 Pro Ultra but with a bit of a facelift. It also has a little side mop cleaning station too which will be handy. Roborock are also offering a second base option for a plumbed in version that doesn't have the water tanks at all. This means the dock is only holding the dirty debris, but it can still wash the mopping pads and fill the onboard water tank. In addition to the S8 Max V Ultra, they also released an S8 Max Ultra model, which is essentially the same robot, just without the inbuilt Rocky voice activation and with a black and white camera which may have slightly worse obstacle avoidance and can't be remotely viewed. The Q-Ravo range also got some upgrades with the release of the Q-Ravo Max-V and the Q-Ravo Pro. The Pro version still has the same pretty average object avoidance camera as the standard Q-Ravo, but the Q-Ravo Max-V has the full reactive AI camera. The big new feature on the Q-Ravo Pro or Max-V is the extending mop arms so that it can mop along the edges. It still has a normal side brush and a single roller brush. The Duo roller brush remains exclusive to the S8 series, which is still my favourite newish feature for carpet cleaning. The Q-Ravo dock looks to be identical, however they're now also offering a plumbed version of that too. Make sure to subscribe for more CES announcement videos, and later on we'll do full length reviews where we test those manufacturers claims. Leave questions or comments below, and I'll do my best to stop by Roborock again and get them answered for you.